This is the brand new Ryobi one gallon wet dry shop vac cordless, right? Runs on a battery. And I have to say guys, I used this thing for the first time last night and it is an absolute little powerhouse that exceeded my expectations pretty much in every way. Now I wanna be very clear about something. This is not gonna serve as a replacement, at least for my personal needs, as a replacement for a full blown regular powered shop vac. However, I think it potentially could depending on what your needs are. So in today's video, we're gonna actually test out the actual performance. We're gonna test the water lift. We're gonna test the CFM. We're gonna talk about all the features. We're gonna test the run time. Uh, and then also look at the weight and all that kind of good stuff. So first off though, let's go ahead and check out what this comes with. Now there's two prices you can do with this thing, right? You can go tool only, which is about $79 or you can go with the full kit, which comes with everything. Uh, it comes with a charger and a battery, a four amp hour battery, and that I believe is 139. Now, one thing to note I did check is, can you use the uh, accessories from like Ridge and stuff? And the standard smaller sized connection points, yes, you absolutely can. Fits right on perfectly, so really, really nice. Like always, guys, I'm gonna have all this stuff uh, linked down in the description for you. So if you're interested in it, you can go down there and check it out. So as you guys can see, this thing comes in a really nice compact little footprint, really, really nice. Uh, again, the battery goes right on top here, super easy, and then it has a handle that flips up and down, so really nice and easy to carry. Uh, even when the battery is installed, still no problem. Uh, what it comes with right out of the box, guys, is a hose. Uh, this actually extends out to five feet. So a five foot hose, uh, you can actually disconnect it on this side, okay? And then you can actually go over to the other side and there is a blower port that you can connect this into. Um, I guess you would do it opposite way and then use it that way. But you do have the blower option on this machine. You also have some nice holders here so it keeps the uh, hose in place nicely. And then uh, not a ton of accessories that come with this thing. So you do get the filter. So there's just two tabs on the side. Let's go ahead and pop this open. And one thing to note guys is this thing actually seals up very, very nicely or at least it feels like it does. Um, so here's your filter, right? Comes already pre-installed. This is like paprika or something like that. I had to vacuum up for my wife when she was making dinner last night. Um, but you see these little tabs on the side here, right here and here, these fit up into there. So everything seems to just, it's not the easiest thing to put back on. You have to line those up, which is, a, there you go. And there you go. Um, but once they're on, everything snaps into place really well. Uh, you can also see this is adjustable, so it's never gonna be in your way. It kind of moves with you as needed. Let me go ahead and plop this back on. Now we do have the on-off switch right on top here. And then as far as the accessories go, like I said, you get the filter, the whole unit, and then you get one crevice tool, right? And it fits right here on the unit, which is really nice and compact. Bet you didn't even see it there previous to that. But again, if you have accessories, there's one more spot where you can add something if you need to. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the weight on this thing. So um, on the website, I think they had it listed at seven pounds, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and here, my scales all tear it out. It's on uh, zero pounds, zero ounces. Now this is the weight with the four amp hour battery installed on it, right? So we're gonna plop it on here. And we are coming in at just shy of eight pounds. We're seven pounds, 14.45 ounces. So right about there. Um, let's go ahead and do it now without the battery, although, I don't know why you would, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's, <laughs> let's just go ahead and do that real quick just to see. And now we're coming in at six pounds, 5.1 ounces, uh, or bouncing right about there. So um, six to eight pounds, depending on if you have the battery on or not. Now, another really cool feature about this thing is on the back, I don't know if you guys can see this well enough, but it has the Ryobi or a Ryobi, whatever you want to call it, but I always say Ryobi, uh, I apologize if that's wrong, uh, the link system. So you can actually, you either have them mounted on your wall or this new little speed bench that I just got from them. Um, I'll show you guys that here in a second. I'll do a separate video on that because that thing's really cool. Um, but this actually just slides right in and it hangs on there. So it's really, really easy to store, keep out of the way. Uh, it's awesome. All right, guys, now I've got a brand new battery here, uh, all charged up, four bars, yeah, four bars. So I'm gonna throw that in. We're gonna be testing the CFM and also the water lift. I have my water lift gauge here. Now, let's talk about the runtime of this unit. So little units like this, guys, I typically expect you know, five minutes of runtime, something like that, um, and not a ton of power. I, I, like I said previously, this thing has exceeded my expectations across the board. I already did the timing test, right? I just filmed it with a stopwatch, and this thing, insane. At three and a half minutes, I came in and checked the, the uh, power rating, at least on the battery, and I don't know how accurate that is as the machines are running, because uh, I don't know, I guess it's a good indicator, but at three and a half minutes, it showed two bars of light left. 
So I was in my head, I was like, okay, cool. We'll probably get five minutes of runtime out of it is what I was expecting. Again, this thing completely blew that out of the water. It ran for 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Insane amount of time. Now, just as a caveat, there was no load. I left it on the machine just like this. So it was a little load from the bend. But you know, obviously if you're complete, completely compressing this, it's gonna cause the motor to spike um, and you'll get less of a runtime then. But just as a, as a benchmark, 18 minutes, 30 seconds. Now I didn't uh, hear or feel any degradation in performance until the 18 minute mark. At 18 minutes, I could hear it starting to slow down, the, the session getting a little, a little bit less, and then it died at 18.30. So, but regardless of all that, absolutely blew my mind. So now let's go ahead and test this thing. We're gonna start off with water lift. Again, uh, one of the things that's a big component in this is how well the unit is sealed. It can suck like crazy, but if there's cracks in the seal, uh, it's gonna be releasing uh, air, and then the suction's not gonna pull as much. But let's go ahead and see. So I'm gonna fire the thing on. And guys, you can hear that. It sounds, it's quieter than your normal shot back, but it's, it's not a quiet machine. It, uh, it's, it's a powerful little unit. So it's not quiet, but um, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna test the water lift. All right, so we are sitting just under 40 inches of water lift. Now, just to put that into perspective, uh, the rigid four gallon, five peak horsepower shop vac that most detailers like to use, um, that thing, when I tested it with a similar sized uh, opening on the hose, was getting just about 50 inches of water lift. But that's a significant machine, right? This isn't that. This isn't the machine that you want if you're going in to do a complete detail, right? Even though this thing ran for 18 minutes, um, it's, it, it's, it's just not quite there. But man, for me, like as a professional detail, a lot of my customers I'm doing maintenance work on, right? And their interior doesn't get that dirty. It just needs to be a quick vacuum and not having to deal with the cord and just pull this thing out and vacuum. Unbelievable time saver for me. So absolutely cool. And again, I can still have my regular vacuum because this thing has such a small footprint. Just toss it in the back and I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and check the CFM now. Now in order to do this, I do have to run this thing and miles per hour and then I have to do a conversion. So bear with me. Uh, I'm going to set it on max so that it tells us, there we go, it's on max. And what that's gonna do is it's going to mark the highest point that it reaches. So here we go. Alrighty guys, so we got to 21 miles per hour of wind flow. Um, now, again, let's compare that to the, that rigid unit that I was talking about. That thing comes in at, oh man, what was it? Let me check my notes. Okay, so that rigid came in at 33 and a half miles per hour when it was using that same diameter hose. So uh, let me go ahead and do the calculation and I'll tell you what the actual CFM is. Okay, so I just ran the calculation and we are just about 46 CFM. Now, interestingly enough, when I went on to Home Depot's website to look this thing up, it doesn't show the power of the machine. It doesn't show the CFM, the water lift, anything like that. I did see a review of this thing on Ryobi's own website and they mentioned 40 inches of water lift and 45 CFM. So we're slightly above the CFM mark that they had, but slightly below the water lift that they had. All right guys, just to display a little bit of the power of this thing, right? Basic hose, it's not, a, it's not light because it is compressed, right? So it's a lot of material in this little piece here. So let's turn it on. You see it sucks to my hand, no problem. Okay. So again, it's got a good amount of suction to it. Really, really surprising actually how much suction it has. I was expecting a whole lot less. I've used like the smaller DeWalt one, like really small DeWalt that was from years ago. Uh, it was kind of a cool unit. It was actually both. So you could run it with a battery or a cord if you ran out of battery. Um, but the suction on this one is better than that one, at least from my memory. That one definitely got the job done but this one is definitely better in that regard. So there you have it guys, the new Ryobi one gallon wet dry. Again, that is another feature. We, I touched on that briefly, but you can run this thing wet. You can vacuum up wet material. So incredible, you just obviously wanna change out the filters so you don't saturate that thing. Um, but other than that, I, I, I'm very, very, very happy with this unit. I actually got it for my wife just for quick, quick cleanup. She was like, I want something that I don't have to deal with the hose or the uh, cord. And I have larger battery powered vacuums, but she was like, no, it's, it's too big. So got this for her and um, 
I wasn't expecting a lot out of it, to be perfectly honest. And again, this thing just absolutely exceeded my expectations. Really, really cool unit. Um, yeah, really great unit. I definitely recommend getting one of these guys, especially if you're a car detailer and, and you're like me, or even if just working around your house or whatever else, a lot of the time you don't need a huge vacuum for working on your car, right? There's just little stuff in your driver area. You just need to get that cleaned out. This is 1000% gonna get the job done really, really well um, and very, very easily. Again, it goes with the Ryby Link system, which is incredible. The batteries, uh, the battery that it comes with, if you do get the kit, is a four amp hour battery, which I think is awesome. A lot of other companies, for some reason, they may be a higher voltage rating, like Greenworks, for example, with some of their blowers and tools. They'll come with a two and a half amp hour battery. And that's fine, it gets you going, but it doesn't get you far. And a four amp hour battery is fantastic. Like I said, 18 minutes of runtime without any, any uh, effect of the performance. And then it finally started to go at that point, but total runtime was 18 minutes, 30 seconds, not under load. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that video helps you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.